This is the O2 Trainer. It's an inspiratory muscle training device. It works out your muscles responsible for inhaling, which are your diaphragm, and your external intercostal muscles, which are the muscles in between your ribs. Those will expand your chest, and that chest expansion will create a vacuum between your body and your lungs, and that vacuum will open up your lungs. So yes, your lungs by themselves don't do anything. They have no muscles in them. You have to work out your breathing muscles. Now, that is what the O2 trainer does for you. But how does the O2 trainer work? It's actually very simple. On one side, we have a flap. And that flap, when you put the O2 trainer in your mouth and you inhale, will close. And I will force you to breathe in through this side. This side, as you can see, has a tiny hole in it. These are the resistance caps. They start with one millimeter, one and a half, two, two and a half. And from that moment on, it goes three, four, five, all the way up to 14 millimeter. That's it. That's the concept. Very basic very powerful. Go to our website o2trader.com and there you can find published medical journals that will back up everything that I just tell you what it does, which means increased stamina, COPD, asthma, cystic fibrosis, balance, sleep apnea, improving that, adjusting to high altitude, you name it, you can find all the published medical journals right there. One more thing, once you hear air slipping in through the side of the flap, something is wrong. What happens is that sometimes the washer inside that you can see here, that plastic washer that's inside, I put it there and it's a little crooked, a little off. So put it in the center. Now, why would the washer be there? It's there so you make sure that you don't drool as much through the O2 trader because at the beginning when you don't have the technique down, you might start drooling because there's movement in the exercises that we're doing and saliva goes back and forth. But once you have the technique down, you can take that washer out and you will never have the problem again. Godspeed and breathe on.